Hello my friends, in this video I'm not going to share about the hair uh, knowledge but I'm going to share about how to do business with Chinese culture people because I found it out it's very big difference between the Western culture and Chinese culture in business. We Chinese culture like to build a business in good relationship for both of us. And but according to my experience for the Western culture, I'm not saying all the Western culture people, but I'm saying some people that they do business is uh, in a not good way. They will speak to you like all the things, they must be the first. If you don't reply to them in one, two, three hours, then they will start speaking bad words to you. If you reply slow, then we comment bad words on your YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you one story happened to me recently. Actually, there were so many stories before, but I think this story is a classic, classical story. Very, very classical story. So I'm going to show to you here. Um, let me show you this is the lady she wanted to buy hair from me and um, you pay attention to the time now the time here is may 19th the time here is now is may 19th saturday here in china saturday here in china may 19th so monday let's start i believe I have chatted with you in the past. I think that I will take my ten gram someplace else. Thank you for your time. So that she wanted to go other place to buy the hair. I said, welcome, you're welcome. But suddenly she came back. She said, what type of payment? PayPal, Amex or what? She told me what she wanted to buy, the wig company. She told me she got screwed with bad hair. Actually, she contacted me last year. She already wasted too much money, thousands of dollars with the bad hair vendors last year and this early year. So you see here. Um, so let me show you another another screenshot here. Four days, pay attention to the time please, my friends, four days ago, here. Four days ago, she left comments bad comments on my youtube with my video i just finished speaking with him on whatsapp wanted a little bit more information and want to spend before i spend ten thousand dollars well, she can say whatever she wanted to say very short very nasty with me and he may have good hair but he doesn't want to explain anything or answer my questions disappointed in this hair manufacturer so busy doesn't have time to talk to me speak to me so she left this four days ago i asked you to pay attention to the time four days ago she uh, monday firstly she said uh, she would went to other place to buy the hair and suddenly she came back to me uh, told me what hair she wanted to buy and then she left the comments on my youtube channel so what kind of people she is i really didn't understand what type of person she was so um another another screenshot let me show to you another screenshot here that is one hour ago this is the screenshot i made maybe uh, two or three hours ago so it just showed one hour ago but you see, I recently purchased a wig from this company. I had approximately, I say, four days ago. You see this sentence. But from the last screenshot I just showed to you, she just uh, said she went to other place and talk about very bad words about me. See, if I was really bad, why, why did she still want to buy hair from me? So, Kelly. Okay. I've said four days ago the hair and you say four days ago the hair 
No doubt it's excellent here. It says excellent. But a problem is he is very difficult to deal with like all the lay strong way uh, wet wig combination. Too large for my head. She said the wig cap was too large. He said he never his he, she was talking about me never gets back to her when you contact him and try to contact him try to contact him for four hundred eighty dollars this week this week when I she said I never get back to her no I guess all the custom her big has I suffer from LA Fisher so before I needed a smaller cap never asked me the cap size and never asked me the cap size I didn't know if she makes full lace wig she comments she commented on this channel that in the video I was showing the full lace wig but she said she didn't know I made full lace wig it's not logical really not logical because the comment she left was on the video which I was showing the full lace wig but she said she didn't know I make full lace wig so you you can see um, she said I never get back to her but I replied message to her on WhatsApp. I will show you later. I was I'm trying to say she talked about bad words at backside and backside about me and uh, but in the front side she still wants to buy hair from me. She say you you can you show that she was saying that my hair was excellent quality. The only problem is uh, the cap size larger. To her head but when she ordered the the wig she didn't tell me the cap size maybe this is the only reason she why she was talking about bad words about me because of the cap size but she, when she ordered the wig she didn't tell me normally we send medium size if you have a spe special order or the specification difference you should tell your vendor when you order right and since she had wasted too much money with other vendor she also should know how to do business when she order she need to tell the data all the information to the vendor but luckily she got excellent quality hair from me maybe the only problem is the cap size is larger uh, but I want to explain to you is to be a short temper person and impatient person in business is, is really bad to your business because it will just break a relationship with your vendor. And let me show you another screenshot here. I just show you that this is the screenshot on WhatsApp here on WhatsApp. So let me show you another one. She said, tired of spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on bad hair. I have looked at your reviews on YouTube and I like what I saw. Pay attention to the time, my friends. On Monday, she was talking to me on Monday. This Monday. Now time here is May 19th, Saturday. All I ask you send me the best quality of hair. Thank you. One more question. When will be the com when will be completed? She was talking about the order. So estimated time of course and I, I, I will explain to her as this is the voice message but uh, let me see I send the data checking number please send check numbers of course uh, data checking number and let me show you another scripture so this is Thursday now here yeah, pay attention to the time please good morning I received the week the hair is beautiful so there's a couple of problems the cap was large for her head so maybe this is the only reason and she was talking about uh, the hair thing but I told her the wig is already very very full she still wanted to add more hair but the wig I sent was more than 330 grams she said the wig is a little bit density is I don't know what density you can see what she was talking. 
but this is a good sign, right? But she was a short temper person, not good in business. We can make more thicker at the back. At the back, she's. You, I show you everything transparent. All over the way, it's already very, very full. So, on this our shop, Scream Shop, and the YouTube channel, comment Scream Shop. You understand what I'm talking about now? She already wasted thousands of dollars with the bad vendors last year and this early year. But now she got my hair, she's saying my hair quality is excellent. Maybe the only problem is the cap size, but this is not an issue. But the quality is the most important. But uh, to be a short temper person in business is, is, is no good. I show you the screen this chatting history here all customer now I will hear what she's saying all she sent but sent is today so I told you pay attention to the time please today is Saturday here May 19th today she sent me mad too much message and she was impatient very very impatient I'm sorry to bother you I will just look for another vendor because Obviously, you can't do the job that I'm asking, unfortunately, because your hair is beautiful. Because your hair is beautiful, but I'm sure there's other vendors now they have exceptional hair as well. But she still want to buy hair from me. Why? She said bad words behind me and still want to buy hair from me. What type of person she is? Give me price on two bundles of hair you said you used to make this week. Just give me a price on two bundle 24 inch hair you used to make this week. Thank you. I will not trouble you. She sent too much message. Then I reply. Now I'm here. By the time you send message, I was driving busy plus Saturday here. I work very, very hard for everyone, but this is not too long to respond to you. Not even longer than six hours, but you still want to buy. You see? I cannot I cannot refuse her she want to buy because if I refuse her she will start again speak bad words to me so my choice was to say do you still want to buy two bundles 24 inch please let me know so I can call the price she said yes I don't want to have to purchase it from another vendor because it won't be the same hair as you but she just said I'm sure there's another vendor there have exceptional hair as well. Now she's changed again. Same length the week, of course, same pattern. Sorry, I didn't mean to inconvenience you. My apologies. I noticed, uh, but I, I spoke to her. I noticed you left comments on our YouTube channel. Maybe I know this is a large purchase from you. And after that, we make a video to reply to your comments on YouTube. Then she start again. I found you are very disrespectful. Didn't want to listen to what I'm saying. I was really upset. I was was really upset about the, the cap size. So maybe the only reason you seem to have an attitude. I'm trying to test hair for my website. It's hard to find really good hair quality. Yes, of course. You already wasted thousands, thousands of dollars. I really pissed off. I'm willing to spend my money and I felt like you were giving. You were giving me the brush off. I was giving you the brush off? No. I already told her. By the time you sent message, you were driving busy plus Saturday here. I work very hard for everyone. This is not too long to respond to you. Not even longer than six hours then you become very impatient. Chris, I don't want this money. You calculate the total cost for your body, then I calculate getting ready to fly for one hour with sending. So, you know what? I'm not the type of person working for only money now. I'm not the type of person working for only the money now. I'm working for the people who are the same type of person like me. If you want to order hair from other vendors, maybe they will smile to you all the time, you cry very fast, quick, because they are waiting your money. They are waiting, really waiting your money. 
And even you speak bad words, like uh, you speak bad words to other vendors, they will still smile to you. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Oh, it's my fault. Sorry, sorry. Oh, do you still want to order? Okay, I do a lot of job for you. Something like that. I'm not that type of person. I'm telling you, I'm the type of person who's working for people who is like me and working for people who have the same vision like me to help people, to help people to get rid of the bad hair, to help them to grow the business, to get excellent quality hair. Like she just said, I have excellent quality hair, but only problem is she is very impatient. If I didn't reply fast, then she starts speak bad words. Mm. But I can understand when she ordered, she didn't tell me the detail or the information for the cap size. The cap size, so normally we send the medium size. If she wants to send the wig to me, no problem. I accept. No problem. The only problem is you cannot do business like this. You speak to your vendor, you want to buy hair to your vendor and you think your vendor's hair is excellent quality. Excellent quality. Then you speak another way behind your vendors, the back size, like on YouTube channel, blah, 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 something like that. This is no good. I, I will not bow for your money. I will not just knock my head. Okay, I will not say, okay, everything is good. I will not say like that just for, for your money. It's, uh, it's not me, I told you. I'm working for people who is like me, to help people to get good quality hair, have the same temper, something like that. And another thing is, if you have special order, specification for your cap size or special order, you need to tell your vendors before you place an order, so everything will be okay. But if you don't say anything, you just say you want which lens, so uh, the normal information, then we just ship the hair. If you don't tell us the special information, spe specification, then there will be an issue in the future. But uh, I think this is not my fault. This is not my fault. You think logically. You just need to think logically. She wasted thousands of thousands of dollars with other vendors hair and she should learn from that and she, sh she should learn from that how to order the hair what information to uh, uh, to send to your vendors then we calculate the cost but when she ordered uh, the cap size she didn't say anything so if you think i'm saying wrong you can also post a video to show the way like i'm showing my friends you can screenshot if you really told me what what size of the cap you told me on the chatting history you can make a video to show people i'm waiting there so maybe you are also watching this video maybe this is your last purchase from me it's not important to me i just want to let my friends how to do business with the Chinese culture people, be patient to build to build a good relationship with your vendor is very very important. Not all the things you are the first. Not like that. To build a relationship with your vendor is very important. It's not like that. You chat it with me, and you say my hair quality is very good. You keep wanting to buy hair from me. And at my bedside, you speak something else. So this is not a good way to build a relationship with Chinese culture people. So I hope you guys can learn from this video how to build a relationship with people. If, there's, if there is something wrong, not an issue, not the most important issue, learn how to try, learn to build a relationship with your vendor. Especially, it's not your vendor's fault. Maybe it's misunderstanding. 
especially it's not a weather spot it's not mindful for the cap size but I'm saying here if you are watching the video you can send the hair the whip back to me no problem I can send the money back to you but I want to tell you you should treasure the web you should treasure your wander in this hair business you should learn how to treasure your wander when you find the excellent quality hair very important you break this relationship with your wander who has an excellent quality hair it would be very bad to your business like this lady she walked around one year at the beginning she talked to me then she walked to other vendors to buy different hair from different vendors and finally came back to me said wanted to buy hair from me and bought the hair called it excellent very good then for only one very small issue which is not my fault then start speaking bad words then this is very very bad so remember one learn how to build relationship with your vendor learn how to treasure your vendor if he has excellent quality hair learn how to treasure the vendor very important so i will post this video reply to her comments under her comments so people can see because I don't like to delete bad comments on YouTube videos. I show it's very transparent to all people. So you guys can see. Very good way to do business to me. I'm very easy. So I will see you in the next video to teach you more things. Thank you very much for watching my video.